Grade 8 math number 4.2a, investigating slope and y-intercept. The graph of every non-vertical line will cross the y-axis. Vertical means going straight up and down. So if it's non-vertical, then that means it's going across this way or across on a slant that way. It even could be going horizontal. But every single non-vertical line will cross the y-axis. And the point on the y-axis where that line crosses is called the y-intercept. The x-coordinate for this point is always zero. We can look at a table and see the y-intercept. On this table, because the x is always zero, that tells us right away, there it is. The y-intercept is four. That's where the x is zero and the y is something other than zero. See? So, our y-intercept is four. The dictionary defines the word intercept as a cutoff from an intended destination or to halt something on its way from one place to another. And when we look at a graph and we look at where the 4 is being intercepted by the line, it is being cut off from right there, isn't it? That is like a cutoff point on the line. It's slicing it right there. That's the y-intercept. It's on the y-line on the 4. That's the y-intercept, okay? So we have this equation y equals mx plus b, and the graph, the line, represents the linear equation y equals negative two-thirds x plus four. You can see how these two equations look very similar to each other, don't they? We know m is the slope. We learn that from the slope formula, m equals the change in y values over the change in x values. So we know m is the slope. We know the slope is a negative two-thirds. It needs to be multiplied by x, and we need to add 4. We can find the slope of a line using the points 0, 4, and negative 3, 6. So here's the 0, 4. We're at 0 on x. That puts us right on the y's line, and y is on 4. Okay? Our next coordinate is negative 3, 6. So we go to x to negative 3. Here we go. And we go up to 6. It's right there. So here's our two points, right here, see? So we can find the slope of the line using those two points. We take the second y, 6, and we subtract the first y, 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. We take the second x, negative 3, and we subtract the first x, 0. Negative 3 take away 0 is negative 3. That gives us a slope of negative 2 thirds, see? Well, this line also contains the point 6, 0. That would be 6 for x and 0 on the y. See? Here's y's 1, 2, 3, 4. So to be right here on x's line, y would be at 0. So this is 6, 0. All right? And the line hits it, doesn't it? Well, since it contains that 6, 0, we can use the 0, 4, that y intercept point and this other point 6, 0 to find the slope of the line. So here's our two coordinates. We take the second y, 0, and we subtract the first y, 4, 0 minus 4. And we take the second x, 6, and we subtract the first x, 0. So we have 0 minus 4 is a negative 4, and 6 take away none is 6. So now we've got negative 4, 6. When we reduce it, it's negative 2 thirds. It's the same as step 1. It's negative 2 thirds. Look at that. So it didn't matter which two points we used, we got the same slope, right? Well, because the negative 2 thirds is a constant, right? Well, when we compare our answers from step 1 and step 2 with the equation, here we go, with this equation of the graphed line, the slope, negative two-thirds, is the coefficient of the variable x in this equation. See? But we knew that, didn't we? We knew that that negative two-thirds stood for m, and m is the slope. And see how we got the slope after we did this? All right, let's look at the next one. When we find the value of y when x equals zero, right here, for x to be zero, See, because here's all the x numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So for it to be zero, it would have to be right meeting on the y line. See that? So to find the value of y when x is zero in the equation, well, it's a four. That's where the line intersects the y-axis. When we compare the x and y coordinates from this, the zero and the four, with the equation on the line, we can see the y coordinate four in the zero four is the same as the four in the equation. This was our original equation, y equals negative two thirds x plus four. It turns out that this zero four coordinate, that four is the y intercept. Here's the slope, we knew that, that was m. So that's the slope and that's the y intercept. So that plus four is the plus b in that equation. So guess what? That's why they call the y equals mx plus b the slope intercept form of an equation. Didn't that make sense? It's got the slope and it's got the y intercept right there. So it's the slope intercept form of an equation. Totally makes sense, right? I hope this was helpful. We're going to continue talking about slopes and y-intercepts into the next video, and I hope you'll come with me and watch it. I'll see you there. Bye.